All right, so let's take a quick look into some of the settings that we have for our image slideshows. So first of all, if we head on over to the slideshow that we've created and we click on the following edit icon, we have a number of options on Fold where we can customize and add some additional content to our image slider. So first of all, we can add our image title. So I'll just go ahead and copy paste the image title here. Next off, you can also upload a logo to that specific image if that would be required. So for the sake of this video, I'll just go ahead and upload a logo even though it may look a little ugly but it'll be there okay then we can add an image description if that's also required okay uh, then if you want to link your title or the actual slideshow or slider to a specific either blog post or page or an external link you can add that uh, link here next off we can select the position of our title and subtitles here as well I'll just have them center aligned if you're adding videos, you can also add the video link here and enable or disable the autoplay. All right, once you've added in your text content, you can go ahead and select your text colors. First of all, uh, we have our title and subtitle color here as well. So I'll just go ahead and select white. And we can also select our hover. So let's just go ahead and select something like this over here. Okay, and if there are any uh, social icons or menu items on top of that slideshow, for example, like we have here, we can also select our uh, menu colors for that as well. So we'll have this as white by default. Okay, so once you have added in all of your content, go ahead and simply close the following area and all of your settings will be saved. You then go ahead and click on update and we'll go over to our page and refresh this. Okay, so here we have our image title. As we hover over it, we have the light gray area uh, hover color. Then we have the logo that we've uploaded, and then we have the image description. If we want to add a video, let's go ahead and copy paste a Vimeo link into our designated area. And let me just remove all of that just so it doesn't get in our way. There we go. We'll add our video link here and uh, we will not enable our autoplay. Okay, we'll close this off, click on update, and refresh the following page once again. Okay, so here we have the video playback button. As soon as we click play, we are able to view the following video. And then we can exit out of it. All right, so yeah, uh, this is it in terms of the settings that we have within this slideshow area specifically. Next off, there are also a number of settings once you add your slideshow to a specific page. So depending on which layout you choose, there will be several options for us to choose from. If we select just this standard option, as you can see, there's really not much for us to play around with except for the slideshow height. So let's just go ahead and add random 500 pixels here. We'll click on update and we'll refresh our page. Okay and you will see that our slideshow is at 500 pixels. Now also note that uh, the content that we've added here is not visible simply because it's going to be a little bit too small so um, also keep that in mind whenever you are selecting certain uh, view types okay and of course setting the image heights. Next off uh, if we select the following option there are a number of uh, header positions uh, there is the header on top or above our image slideshow then we have it at the bottom and then we have it uh, just independently uh, over the slideshow so this is what this would look like over here let's just go ahead and select slideshow height at 900 pixels and a logo let's just assign it to the center then we'll click on update and we'll refresh the following page once again Okay, so here we have our logo in the center, and then we have our slideshow here. Okay, uh, next off, of course, we do need to adjust the colors of our menu items, but nonetheless, the process still remains the same. Next off, if we select one of these options here, uh, we simply select the positioning of our logo, and that's pretty much it. So, our logo will be in the center, and we'll click on update and refresh the following page once again okay and here we have our portal logo and then we have our navigation menu with uh, all of these other options here
So uh, very easy and simple. Uh, once again, all of these settings are available within the slideshow settings once you assign the slideshow to a specific page. And finally, we have these settings over here that are located in the flow themes area. If you click on flow themes, content settings, head on over to slideshow, and there are a number of options for us to play around with. So first of all, we can enable or disable the full screen slideshow on mobile devices. Uh, next off, you can enable or disable autoplay for the main slideshow. If you do enable this, you can also select the autoplay speed that we have up here over here. So 300 or 3000 uh, milliseconds is equivalent to every three seconds the images will rotate. Okay, next off you can select the arrow types. Uh, then we have the transition effect speed, which is simply this speed over here. So if we set this to, um, I don't know, let's just go ahead and say something like 3000 or Let's make it 5,000 to make it even slower and more visible. You'll see that our images transition much, much slower. Okay, so going back to these settings, let's revert to 1,000 because that will be a little too annoying for the long transitions. And next off, we have the slider uh, slideshow transition effect. It's either a slide or a fade, one of these two options. Enable pause over hover, meaning if you have autoplay and the images are rotating, you can, uh, once you hover over the slideshow, the images or the slideshow will pause for users to view that particular image. Okay, and then we can also enable or disable automatic uh, text color change based on the background of our image. Basically, it just means this option here, if you have a an image with a dark background the content over here will be light or white should I say if you have a light background then uh, the content and the text color will be darker okay and then we have a uh, gutter between visible nearby slideshows uh, once again you can click here and you will see what these apply to and of course we have our uh, basic uh, font settings here for this slideshow as well. So these are the main three areas where you will need to uh, look into to make any adjustments to your slideshow. So we do hope this video helps, but you can also look into our written documentation for additional info and details. So thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys in our next video.